Even all. Uh, this is just be part two of the uh, sash update I did uh, the other day. My uh, package from HLJ came in today. So uh, not a whole lot, but a uh, few more kits here that I'll add into January before the end of the month. Um, first one is this uh, Hasegawa Cadillac. So this is a series of um, Hasegawa models. For some reason, Hasegawa keeps calling everything limited edition now it seems. But, um, but anyways, the main reason I, bu I bought these, I wanted to get the figures. Um, so uh, I guess Hasegawa doesn't have the licensing for the cars. So as you can see, this is a Cadillac. They don't call it a Cadillac. It's a coupe type C, type A, type B, type C. Uh, so for anybody interested in buying these kits, uh, just note that these are curbside kits, uh, but they do look really nice. I, I think they'll build into a really nice shelf model. Uh, like I said, my main reason, I wanted the figures. So I have that one. And I have this one. Uh, I think that's a Pontiac, I think. Uh, again, mainly for the figure. So there are three others in this series of models. There's a Impala, I think. Uh, there's a Buick. And a Thunderbird. Uh, I want to get the Impala and I want to get the Buick. I'm not overly interested in the Thunderbird, but I may end up getting it anyways just to close out the set. Uh, <clears throat> Hasegawa, Hasegawa recently released the Lamborghini Mira, also with a figure. So I have that one on uh, pre order. Um, but one thing, if Hasegawa released the Mira kit a little while back. Um, that kit is a full detail kit, full engine. So I would imagine their release with the figure is just a repop of that kit. So I'm pretty certain that kit will be a full, full detail kit with the engine and everything. Um, the rest of these kits are just some more master box figure kits. So I have this one, um, if you watch my channel, you know I'm building this kit right now for the Ferrari. Um, the reason I bought this, uh, if you remember the way that kit went together, uh, I didn't like the hairline. So I fixed it with epoxy sculpt, but uh, just in case it didn't work out, I went ahead and bought a replacement kit. But it worked out okay, so I'll put this one in. That one will go in the stash with the rest of them. Uh, bought another Trucker Series kit. This one, of course, Kitty. And another one from the Trucker Series. This one is Joni. Also comes with the dog as well. See here, comes with the dog as well. So I have in this uh, set here, I have all of the female characters now. I don't have any of the male drivers yet. Um, this is a new series from Masterbox, Outlaw Gunslinger series. This one's number two, this is the hired gun. Uh, comes with the horse, so it looks like a really nice kit. And this is in, uh, I'm just trying to see the scale. This is in 135th scale. The other ones were 124th. And the first one in that series is this one. So with this one you get all three figures, the uh, wounded I think he's a marshal or something. Yeah, marshal Tom Tucker. 
the woman with the gun and the little girl and the horse as well so there's a lot of parts in this one for a master box kit so that's it for that stash update for January um, I really don't have any kits really on the radar right now so February may be a light month for kits hopefully uh, if it's not a light hopefully no kits at all but uh, like I said there's really nothing that I there's really nothing right now that's piquing my interest too much uh, the only thing I probably will buy next month is the trailer to do the Happy Toys uh, trailer with those decals I got. So uh, anyways guys, as always, thanks for watching and uh, hope you stay tuned for the upcoming videos.